Welcome to which version in which I contrast and compare different takes on the same story. All Quiet on the Western Front, 1930-1979, short video. Paul Baumer and his classmates are encouraged by their teacher to enlist now that they've graduated. The year's 1914, it's the early years of the First World War and the boys do enlist and they soon find that the war is nothing like what they've been told and we follow them as they go through the various dehumanizing aspects of warfare. Both of these films are excellent. They're brilliantly acted, fantastically filmed. The editing is really tight and has a lot of really great visual communication to it. The music is great. They're both very, very tense and just the the realism of it all. The older version is the slightly better of the two, but it is also fairly theatrical. It's much like a stage play and it doesn't quite feel as natural and as organic as it does in the newer one, especially in interactions. It is, however, the better at introducing characters, whereas the newer one is better at developing them and you know, giving, pro providing the background and making us really care about them. The newer one also has the advantage of some tools of storytelling of, of in, in film that were not developed when the 1931 was made, since film was a relatively new medium. Narration and the non-linear timeline. The original, however, does also benefit some in its own regard, in its own respect, from the straightforward, the, the linear progression since we follow how these boys change over time as they see more and more of the horrors of the war. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.